Hello everyone! Today I want to show you a maze generator that I wrote. So, uh, let me first show you what it looks like, uh, the maze it generates. So let's just do, uh, let's view a maze that I generated. So, um, let's zoom in a little bit. Here is a maze that I have generated using my script uh, that I wrote in Python. Now there are some problems with this maze generator, uh, some sort of some um, things that I don't like about it. For example, you can see that it has generated these um, sort of unescapable rooms here. I don't really like that. It's obviously it's fixable, but. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like now and it also generates a path uh, that is supposed to be the uh, path um, to escape the maze basically so let's say this was a game you would start here and you would walk along this path here uh, until you reach the end basically and it's all randomly generated now let me show you the code a little bit. It's written in Python. It's written in Python. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we have some uh, syntax syntactic uh, errors here. Uh, I, I wrote this really quickly. So anyway, um, I created this struct type here, which is basically uh, a structure. So the maze generator has, uh, let me see, it has uh, one horizontal structure, like one uh, hallway or path or, yeah, let's call them hallways, that are, uh, one is horizontal and one is vertical and one is empty. So there's three different uh, structures basically. Um, Actually, there is one called intersection as well that I used before. Um, but I sort of removed it. Um, but an intersection was basically a, a place where uh, the horizontal and the, ver uh, the vertical and the horizontal uh, hallways would uh, sort of uh, join each other. Um, I guess here is uh, one place where we have an intersection. So here's an intersection and here's a vertical a hallway, here's a horizontal hallway, horizontal hallway, uh, vertical hallway. And then I have this canvas class that I'm using to basically just draw on an image. So I'm using pillow to create images and I'm using numpy to create an empty set of data that I use to generate the image. <clears throat> so then I have uh, this canvas also actually contains the data of like every kind of structure that has been placed out. So it, it, it's inside this location dictionary here. So I have these sort of helper methods here. One is called set location data, and it just places out uh, theoretical uh, structure at a specific coordinate, basically. Then I have get location data that basically just retor returns the, stru the structure type uh, at a specific coordinate. Then I have this draw pixel uh, method, which is basically just a, a wrapper on the uh, uh, image.putPixel method that comes from the pillow library. Then I have this simple iterate method that uh, iterates through every pixel and uh, calls a callback. Um, and I'll show you more of this later. And then we have this uh, render function. It's basically used to render each pixel because I'm generating this maze pixel by pixel, basically. And then I have this render wall H, which, which renders a horizontal wall. Uh, so it uses the draw pixel method. So it renders the top wall and the bottom wall. Then we have a vertical, and that one renders a vertical wall. Uh, the left wall, the right wall. And then I have the render intersection thing here, 
Now, this one is actually not being used right now because I realized I don't need to render anything on intersections. They're basically just empty, empty uh, blocks or whatever. Because each, each structure is uh, actually uh, 16 by 16 pixels. Forgot to mention that. And then I have this helper function that is render a uh, struct type at a specific coordinate. So you just pass in the struct type and the coordinates and you can also specify color. Uh, you can see here actually when I'm uh, doing the render uh, intersection, I just return and I don't render anything. And then I have a function that gets a new struct type that just uh, gives me a random struct type between zero and two. We can see here that the zero is an intersection and the two is a vertical, so I'm gonna get a random one, intersection, horizontal, or vertical. Uh, and here's the function that actually generates the path. It doesn't render the path, it just stores coordinates in the class for where the path should be. Um, so, yeah, it creates a random path, basically. And then I have this fragment shader thing, which is actually being used in the, uh, let's see here, uh, in the render method. So it calls the iterate function and it uses the fragment shader as a callback. Because uh, I'm sort of thinking OpenGL, it's not OpenGL, but in OpenGL the fragment shader is like pixel by pixel thing. Uh, so I'm sort of thinking in those in that manner here. And that one is basically um, just iterating through the, uh, um, for every pixel I check if uh, there is a structure at that pixel. So I do data, get location data for that coordinate and I uh, place out the struct basically, or I render the struct. And here's the function that actually generates the uh, the wall, the uh, structures. So, and this one is being called at every pixel as well. So for every pixel, first I'm checking if uh, if we're at the location where a struct should be placed out. And I'm getting a new struct type, and I just uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the code link to the code in the description. I'm not gonna go through everything here, you know in very much detail. Um, and yeah, it just places out structs, basically, depending on what has been. Uh, so like, for example, here, if there is an uh, in intersection to the left uh, or right uh, of the current coordinate, then we're going to generate a horizontal uh, wall. Uh, but if there is an intersection above or below, then we're going to generate a vertical wall. And otherwise, it's just going to get a random uh, struct type and then it's going to place that into the dictionary. And then I'm just uh, importing this class that I wrote in the main file and uh, I'm calling render image to save and also show. So if I run it, a new one will be generated here. Well, this image viewer isn't working very well. So here it is. Let's uh, generate another one. Now you can see the path is more down here. path is here. Yeah, you get the point. So why did I make this? Well, because it's fun. And also I have been wanting to create a uh, dungeon crawler game for a very long time. Uh, and maybe I can use this in there so that I would basically use this as a map and convert it to a three-dimensional uh, render. 
it's not that difficult. So uh, yeah, I'll put the link uh, to this project in the description. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, go check it out if you want to. What else is there to say about it? Yeah, if you have any ideas for it, uh, feel free to make a pull request if you want to. Uh, that's always fun. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this uh, maze generator. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.